most of the people who won are people who are not filmmakers by profession. They're not people who can spend 600 days on set making films. So really, this is, the, this is what really excites us, is the fact that creators who were previously writers, previously musicians, uh, in the creative industries of some sort, now find the tools and the equipment, and they don't have to have a $100,000 budget or millions of euros worth of budget to get approved to prove that they're artistically gifted. AI art, it's still art. It's just, it's, it's just different kind of art. It's like we're having many branches across the, the ages. It's just one new branch. And I also I think it's natural for AI filmmakers to try to replicate traditional cinema. But I think at some point we will just do original stuff and we will find our own way, our own style. And like the, I think AI films are their own thing. these things would take a long time. So when these steps of articulation and expression are sped up, we can subvert and abstract these, these methods. I live in the short form content community, so Everything I'm looking at, I look at through the lens of how will it perform either on stage at a concert or at a music festival or on people's phones. Be able to get people to come together and, and to foster kind of growth within creativity allow people to have access to the tools and safe place to post them because there is a lot of fear and meet people online um, is, is kind of paramount to the mission and um, Eleven Labs obviously allows us to communicate in such a way that just wasn't possible a couple of years ago. filmmaking before um, and also I have two friends that help me to make it with like that are Beto Padreca and Rafa Arinelli they help me with the edition and also the sound design so, mm -hmm. so yeah it's it's a pleasure guys thank you for coming and